Okay, um, hi, uh, my name is Daniel Krasi, and uh, today I want to share with you a fresh paper called uh, RANA, Relatable Articulated Neural Avatars. Uh, for recent couple of years, creation of uh, digital avatars become quite common problem. Uh, there are many reasons for that. Uh, the first is uh, development of virtual and augmented uh, reality. Uh, digital avatars uh, could be used, for example, in uh, virtual drawn applications or in the entertainment field like uh, Snapchat or Instagram uh, uh, filters. Uh, also, there is gaming, classic or mobile. Uh, I think many players would like to create a character as similar as possible uh, to themselves and terrorize street uh, in Grand Theft Auto online. Uh, also, digital avatars could be possible uh, used in cinematography and so on. Um, in general, uh, the methods of uh, creation of video uh, digital avatars uh, can be uh, conventionally divided into three <clears throat> directions. Uh, the first one and uh, the less popular is uh, using uh, classic non-DL uh, reconstruction tools. Um, there are a couple of reasons why is, uh, uh, this direction is uh, not uh, popular. Uh, for example, for a good reconstruction, an object must have uh, many key points and a person is mostly a fairly uh, homogeneous object, which can be problematic. Uh, the second uh, one, it's uh, you need a second person to shoot the video. And uh, the last problem, uh, it's necessary to have a really good exposure and not to move at all. Uh, otherwise, uh, the reconstruction can be deformed like uh, in the image on the left. Uh, the second direction is uh, 2D neural rendering based methods which are using CNNs uh, to render the images and uh, the third is uh, 3D neural uh, rendering based methods. They are using uh, um, they are using uh, neural uh, radiant fields uh, to represent uh, the person and uh, render the target images uh, using uh, volume uh, rendering methods, uh, volume rendering. And um, one limitation of the 3D neural uh, rendering methods is uh, that uh, avatar has to be created from scratch uh, for each person. Uh, in contrast, 2D-based methods um, offer some generalizability by sharing the neural renderer across multiple subjects. Uh, so, RANA, uh, it's um, new methods of creating avatars belonging to the second, second category. Uh, as an input, uh, RANA needs a short RGB video uh, with a person in an arbitrary pose, uh, target body pose, and information about a new uh, lightning environment. Uh, and uh, as output, uh, we get a photorealistic avatar, which can be animated in any body pose and uh, viewpoint. Uh, what makes uh, RANA different from dozens of uh, other projects is that RANA allows you to consider lightning in a, a new environment and um, add realism when uh, rendering a new video. Uh, the authors also presented a new uh, natural <coughs> neural network uh, for removing shading from the input environment and uh, created a data set for further uh, research in the field of relighting. Uh, so about runner algorithm, uh, it can be split into uh, three sub-problems. Uh, the first one is uh, coarse geometry estimation. The second one is coarse albedo texture map estimation. And the third one is learning reliable and articulated neural avatar. Um, given the training frames, authors first estimate the coarse geometry of the person, including the clothing and uh, hair details. 
um, SMPL uh, is quite popular uh, method to uh, for pulse estimation. It's um, a linear function M that takes the body pulse theta and shape parameter beta uh, as input and produces a um, triangulated mesh. Uh, but SMPL only captures the undressed uh, shape of the body and ignores the clothing and hair details. Uh, so for this, uh, SMPL plus D uh, is used. Uh, it's, uh, it adds a set of 3D offsets D to SMPL uh, to capture the additional geometric details, which can also uh, model closed humans. Uh, given the SMPL plus D feeds for the training frames, an albeda texture map of the person in the UV space of SMPL is estimated. Uh, at first, a partial texture map for each frame by backprojecting the image colors of all visible vertices to the UV space is extracted. And um, then the final texture map is uh, generated by calculating the medial color value uh, of almost orthogonal texels uh, from all frames. Um, but uh, the obtained texture uh, map can be noisy. It uh, can still have uh, missing regions. Uh, also, the unknown shading from the texture map has to be removed, uh, which is uh, quite a challenging problem. And uh, to address uh, these problems, texture net is proposed. Uh, it takes a noisy texture map with unknown lighting uh, as input and produces a clean albedo texture map as output. Uh, here are a couple of examples uh, of uh, texture map results, um, texture net results. Uh, unfortunately, the authors did not provide a good, good picture uh, with the architecture of texture net. Um, they just mentioned uh, that uh, vanilla unit architecture uh, were used. Uh, and so uh, the main pipeline is uh, on the slide. Uh, the course albedo detector and geometry obtained uh, so far uh, lack photorealism and uh, fine grain details of the person. And uh, Rana utilizes the course geometry and albedo map and generates photorealistic images uh, of the person. Uh, at first, um, authors augment the course geometry and um, texture with uh, learnable latent features uh, to capture fine grained person specific details. Uh, given the target body pose, uh, they then uh, rasterize the course albedo texture. Uh, course normals and uh, neural features in the target feature space and process it uh, using two separate uh, neural networks, uh, normal net and albedo net, uh, each responsible for producing a normal map and albedo map uh, respectively. Uh, finally, given the target light, uh, <clears throat> given the target light, spherical harmonic lighting is used uh, to obtain the shaded image uh, which is applied to a refined uh, albino map and um, the final shaded image uh, is obtained. Uh, here is an example of created avatar and it's uh, animation in novel body poses and uh, lightning. Also can be seen uh, on the right uh, intermediate um, results with uh, coarse mesh and uh, coarse albino map. Uh, to compare with uh, final run results. Um, an interesting uh, application shown on this slide, um, runner can be used to combine avatars uh, which were captured from uh, in, in different environments and uh, combine them uh, in the uh, one novel environment with uh, consistent lightning. allows oh, oh sure uh, from this slide or 
Oh, yeah. Uh, since RANA is the first neural avatar method uh, that allows novel light and pulse synthesis, uh, authors uh, created custom baselines to uh, compare uh, uh, RANA, uh, RANA performance. Uh, the first one, it's uh, SMPL plus D. Uh, authors rasterized the SMPL plus D mesh normal CNLB detector in a target body pose and uh, used uh, spherical harmonics lightning to generate the shaded images. Uh, the second baseline, it's uh, articulated neural rendering with related uh, humans. Uh, it's uh, two separate uh, projects. Authors, uh, authors trained an AAR model which synthesizes images in the lightning of the training video and then pass the generated images to the single image human uh, relightning method to obtain the related images for the target light. And uh, the third baseline is uh, relightning for D. It's a state-of-art human video relightning method. Uh, authors uh, use the public, uh, publicly available uh, source code and train it uh, on uh, their data set. And uh, here are comparisons and uh, metrics um, learned perceptual patch similarity, a deep image structure and texture similarity, structural similar similarity index, um, peak signal to noise ratio, and uh, for normals, uh, errors in degrees. Uh, visually, uh, RANA looks more stable, maybe a bit smoother than other methods. Um, and uh, speaking in digits, uh, RANA shows or the best performance uh, or uh, pretty nice compared with other methods. Oh, thank you for your attention.